guys, it is time to make some dinner and I am making a chicken enchilada past pasta skillet. And I'm gonna read you the ingredients. We're using one and a half cups of dry pasta. I am using whole wheat for zero points on my purple plan. And I actually used a little bit more because I've got five people I need to feed. I've got one medium onion chopped, one medium bell pepper chopped, two garlic cloves minced, and then we're gonna look at our spices over here and what is in there. We have one and a half tablespoons of chili powder, one teaspoon of ground cumin, one teaspoon of sugar, one quarter teaspoon of dried oregano, and then one eighth teaspoon of salt or to taste. If you don't want any salt, it's up to you. And then over here I have one eight ounce can of tomato sauce, two cups way over here, of shredded chicken breast and that is cooked. So the pasta is gonna be cooked beforehand and so is the chicken. And I cooked this in the Instant Pot because I wanted it shredding nicely and nice and moist. Um, and then I'm gonna be using a half a cup of uh, reduced fat cheddar cheese, preferably. This one I'm gonna to have to take the hit on because I don't have reduced fat. Um, I'm also gonna be needing a cup of water and two tablespoons of fresh cilantro for garnish. All right, let's get started. Okay, first off to the nonstick sprayed pan, we're gonna add in the peppers and the onions and we're gonna cook them for about three to five minutes, however long it takes to get them tender, translucent. Then you're gonna move them over to the side a bit, lower the heat just a little to medium and then add in your dried spices. And we really wanna just cook them there for about 30 seconds. And they're gonna get really nice and fragrant. Then you can add your tomato sauce and your water. And then we're gonna mix that together just for a minute or so. Then you can bring back those, uh, those peppers and onions and oh, they smell so good. Now, what I failed to do here, which I will in a minute, but I needed to add the garlic at this point too. And um, I'll do that in a second, but I kind of forgot that. So um, I want those, there's the garlic right there. <laughs> it was an afterthought. Now I'm gonna cover it, I'm gonna lower it to simmer for about five minutes. Five minutes is up, here we are again. Guess what, it's time to add the chicken. So we're gonna take that and just kind of stir it in. I think about this time I should switch over to a spoon. It's getting a little heavy here but this, uh, this chicken is gonna be so good in it. And now you're gonna add in your cooked pasta. I thought I was gonna add all of this, but it doesn't seem to have room. And this is kind of like a heavy, uh, a high-sided skillet too. So I think that's enough for everybody though. Now you're gonna add in the cheese and that's super, super simmered, really low. I'm gonna just sprinkle it on top and then I'm gonna cover it for about a minute. Oh, this is so good. And I have to tell you, the family just absolutely loved this. Oh, and don't forget the cilantro. That'll go on top and it looks really pretty and it adds a nice little flavor. All right, so I just had a smidgen of everything at dinner. I really wasn't hungry because I had such a salad at lunch and it really just kept me full all day. But I did want to sit with my family, so just a little bit will do. And I wanted to show you where I got this marvelous recipe from, Chicken Enchilada Pasta Skillet, from one of my favorite cookbooks, Eat What You Love Every Day by Marlene Koch. So I'm gonna give her credit for this recipe. I wish it were mine, but it's not but I will certainly love it. Guys, thought I'd take you on my walk. I'm trying to get a good, at least 20 minutes to half an hour in of a walk today. I honestly had one of those days, it doesn't hit me very often at all, but I think that I had a little too much sugar last night and I wasn't used to having that in that delicious, wonderful cake. And it kind of threw my system off a little bit. And I got really like depressed today. <laughs> I guess that was me coming down, I don't know. But um, I guess I'm not used to having a lot of refined sugar right now. And 
it didn't hit me very well but anyway so I'm coming down and I didn't feel like I didn't even feel like eating today I just kind of like made myself you know have meals today and I ate well but all I wanted to do was just kind of like lay there and do nothing you know and I kind of recognize that as being like a sugar low and I didn't even really want to exercise. I certainly didn't want to this morning, so I didn't. And then I really made myself come out here and do it right now because I thought, you know, somebody's got to take care of you, Kat, and it has to be you. Nobody's going to step in for you, and nobody's going to make you make good choices, and nobody's going to make you finish your challenges, and nobody's going to make you walk or drink water, or do any of that other stuff that you told yourself you are gonna do when you started this journey. So, I have me to count on to do that. And so, uh, so here I am. And I'm going to continue to take care of myself. And I think, you know, it's something that we all have to decide on. That's something that we all have to do for ourselves, right? I mean, we have other people who would like to take care of us, but when it really comes down to it, we only have to really depend on us keeping our final word to ourselves and whether or not we consider ourselves important enough to keep that promise that we made to ourselves. Did you make a promise to yourself when you started this journey? Did you promise to yourself that you were going to drink the water get your walk in, keep track of your food and your points. Did you promise yourself or did you just say, well, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll feel like doing it some days. Maybe I won't. <laughs> and you know, after I made that last video of mine, I had to, as to why I am sticking with Weight Watchers, these are the reasons why, I had to really think about that's why I made that video is because I was really thinking about those questions and how serious I am about those. And I am serious. There's no other way I'm gonna to get to my goal unless I make promises to myself and I keep promises to myself, right? And I have to be serious about it. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to check in with you and see if you wanted to ask yourself the same questions today. Did you make some promises to yourself you need to be keeping today? Because you know you are just as important as the people that you take care of and the people around you. And you only have you to rely on to get you through that. So, and honestly, I know I have God <laughs> to help me, but he wants me to get up off of my can and do the work <laughs> and take care of myself and be responsible. And I know that. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna let you go for now. I love you guys. I'll see you later.